this is geometry, chapter six, section one. It's the polygon angle sum theorems. So we're going to look at the interior angles of a polygon and find when we add them all together what they equal. And we're going to be looking at the exterior angles of a polygon and when you add them all together what those equal. So theorem 6-1 is the polygon angle sum theorem. Um, please get out your highlighters. And let's highlight the sum of the measures of the interior angles is n minus 2. So whatever, however many sides you have, subtract it from 2, multiply by 180. So when n minus 2 equals 1, So if I were to add two to both sides, this would be n equals three. The polygon is a what? What has three sides, y'all? Triangle. Okay. Now we're working. When n minus two is equal to two, you get four sides. The polygon is a. This is tricky. There you go. That looks good. It's a quadrilateral. It could be a rectangle. It could be a parallelogram. It could be a trapezoid. It just has to have four sides. So, all right. So when we look at our practice problem here, in your book, if you open the digital textbook and you press this problem number one here, it'll take you through a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to do this problem, a little video. So when you're inside your, your online textbook, go ahead and press the problem number one, and it'll walk you through this problem step-by-step. -step. And it, it's sometimes helpful when you're doing the fill-in-the-blank notes as well. All right, so what is the sum of the interior angle, interior angle measures of a heptagon? So... A heptagon has seven sides. If you didn't know that, I would recommend Googling it. Um, seven minus two is five. Five times 180 is 900. So all the interior angles of a heptagon add up to be 900. We're going to do that, but with a 17 gone. 17 gone. Um, what is the sum of the interior angles? So we're going to take... 17 minus 2 times it by 180. 17 minus 2 is 15 times 180. Um, because it is morning time and I, my mental math is not amazing in the morning. Um, 15 times 180 is 2700. So if I had a 17-sided figure and I want to add up all the interior angles, it would equal 2,700 degrees. Um, let's look at the reasoning part, this part B. The sum of the interior angle measures of a polygon is 1,980. How can we find the number of sides of a polygon? You're going to get questions like this on your homework, so let's put this in. If n minus 2 times 180 is equal to our sum of our interior measures, I set it equal to 1,980. To solve for n, the first thing I need to do is divide by 180. Thankfully, I have my little calculator friend here, and I don't have to do this in my head. 19, oops, clear that out. 1980 divided by 180 is 11. So we got n minus 2 equals 11. So what's n? 
13. Yes. So n is equal to 13. We talked a little bit about this before. An equilateral polygon is a polygon with all sides congruent. That's the one I don't remember. I remember this one because he's the easy one. Equiangular polygon has the word angular. Angle is where all the angles are congruent. So I know if it's not the equiangular one, the other one's the side. So one's angles, one sides. When they have it all together, angles and sides, it's called regular. If you get a regular polygon, it's like winning the lottery. All of your life is easy and you can actually do stuff with it. So you want to be looking for regular polygons, please. Um, when it's regular polygon, then um, life is beautiful. So without a regular polygon, you can't find the measure of each angle. If you have a regular polygon, so let's highlight the word regular in this, because if it's not regular, you guys got to keep your eyes peeled for that like a detective. A regular polygon, you can find each interior angle, and it's our angle sum theorem just divided by however many angles we have. So it's n minus 2 times 180 divided by however many angles we have in our regular polygon. All right, so if we look here, what is the measure of each interior angle in a regular nonagon? I happen to know nonagon has nine sides. If you don't know, what can you do to find out? You can Google it, right, or look it up in your glossary, in your textbook. All right, so nine sides. So we're going to take our formula here. We're going to put nine in for n. Nine minus two is seven. Um, I'm going to cheat. I'm a totally mental math this. I know um, 180 divided by 9 is 20. And 7 times 20 is 140. So each angle is 140 degrees. All right, so let's apply it. Is this a regular polygon right here? No. Negative. But it is a quadrilateral, which means we have how many sides? Four. So if we have four sides, what is the sum of the interior or the interior angles? Four minus two is two times 180. All four-sided polygons should have their Interior angles add up to 360. So, if I want to find angle G, all these angles should add up to 360 degrees. So we're going to put these in. We are going to simplify by combining like terms. That is 205 and 253. Double check my math on that. 258. All right. All right. So then we're going to subtract 258 from both sides. Angle G is equal to, okay, let's do this all old school here. 10 minus 8 is 2. This is 3. That's still 3. 102. I borrowed it. I didn't need to borrow, so I gave it back. Um, so angle G is equal to 102. All right, so the next um, theorem we're going to look at is the polygon exterior angle theorem. So let's highlight exterior because now we're talking about the outsides. So take a look at the way they're marking the exterior 
angles. I would love this theorem because it's the same no matter what polygon you have. If you have 10 sides, three sides, 150 sides, the sum of the exterior angles is always going to be 360. So if you look at problem number four, it says, what is the measure of angle one in a regular polygon, a regular octagon? So it's got eight sides, all the sides are the same, uh, and the angles are the same. So the, by, by the polygon exterior angle sum theorem, the sum is 180, I'm sorry, the sum is 360. Since it's regular, all the interior angles are the same. So we take 360, divide it by 8, and we get that all these exterior angles are equal to 45 degrees. All right, so let's look at our question. We've got our friend the nonagon. How many sides does the nonagon have? Um, just to let you know, I'm pretty sure enneagon, E-N, enneagon, is also nine sides, so I don't know why nine gets two names, but it does. Um, so we, we take our, so the measure, when we have a regular polygon, we take our formula, normally it would have 360, we divide it by 9, uh, exterior angle, and then I know 9 goes into 36 six times, so 9 goes into 360. So each exterior angle of a nonagon is 60 degrees. Good yeah. morning. I was like, so, 360 divided by 9 is not 60, it is 40. Thank oh. you, Colin. Shout out on YouTube for showing it up. It's 40. Make sure you write that down correctly. 